Yo, what up? It's Aaron motherfucking Moses. And this video is a review on the ritual that I gave you guys yesterday. First, what I did was, I'm going to tell you what I did and how it felt. What I did was, I mentally projected into ancient Kemet. I did this from 1040 to 1130. So it was about six to seven there. And I visualized myself in a hut, no bigger than this room. I visualized an altar in front of a window. Out of that window was the Giza pyramids. I visualized the sun coming um, through the pyramids and hitting the window perfectly and the altar and everything. Um, what I did was I was instructed to not actually light any real candles, but to draw eight black candles on little slits of, pla of paper. Well, seven black candles on little slits of paper and then one white candle with the Libra sign on it candles and then draw the fire above the candles i drew the white candle with a black flame i don't really know the significance of all these things um i if you want to if you want me to make a video about my altar before i move uh definitely let me know smash that like button and, and the comment that you want me to make a video showing you my exact altar um i had the sacred geometry i set them up two two one one and then I put one under it then I put sacred geometry the sun sacred geometry in the middle I put the rose quartz in the middle I put citrine at the top tiger's eye at the bottom I put copper I have a piece of clear quartz that's in this I, I forgot what, it, what it's called but it's basically like a cube with hella pyramids and then uh Matter of fact, let me just show you real quick. I'm just going to show you. Oh, and it's clean. Fucking avocado. Who left the avocado on my altar? So basically, this is my altar. It's not as junky as it looks in real life. See, now, this is my setup. I have the Jupiter oil that I got from Alchemy Arts. You can actually order that online. I have the Mars oil right here that you can order online um and this is the this is the clear quartz pyramid cube i don't know what that's called this is this is copper right here <laughs> sorry and this is a sunstone a 50 cent piece and then my citrine and then this is rose quartz in the middle tiger's eye right here and then this is the the black candles that i drew and then the white candle And then my Isis statue, my oil lamp, my sacral chakra candle that somebody fucked with. And then my Abaddon box, my affirmations, my tambourine that I use for raising hella energy, my incense, my offering, um, my other offering, Jack Daniels, rub sage because we couldn't find any real sage. Another offering, my honey bun, I'm offering that tonight. Black candle. I got my meat tenderizer, got some colognes, my uh, Rob Mahotep 5%er envelope with the cash in it for the cash at, and that's pretty much it, man. I got my um, chalice, I guess you would call it, it has rose quartz in it, jade, moonstone, pyrite, more rose quartz, red tiger's eye. Uh, moonstone, sunstone, and hematite. And then this one has Canadian jade. This is my money jar. This is actually $500 in shredded money. And that's pretty much it. I got my, my samurai jack. That's pretty much it. I didn't really have to show you all of that, but I guess it doesn't hurt. But you get, the, you get what I was doing. So I pretty much had that Egyptian energy in there. I should make a whole separate video about my altar, but, um, 
Yeah, so I, I breathed, I had to breathe in that Egyptian energy, plus my tarot deck, is it's an Egyptian tarot deck, and then I got Anubis and the Eye of Horus on me. So, I mentally projected there, I had my altar, it wasn't that exact altar though, it was like a, it was a blue trunk, and it had the eight black candles on it lit, and then it had like a chalice full of water, and an instant it was very it was very simple and so i had a buddy play the drums and i raised the energy and, and i soaked in the sun and then i mentally projected outside the house and i actually sat in the sun i said my affirmation it was amazing it was amazing this is this was like better than most of the rituals that i've done on the physical plane it was fucking beautiful the sun like you when i sit in the sun i breathe it in and it goes into you know, i don't know the layers of my of the skin because i'm not a fucking scientist but um it felt like the sun was traveling into my body it was like some i don't want to sound i don't really want to sound ignorant it was like some friday Krueger type shit bro it was like it was happening somewhere else but it was happening to me uh, for all the people who have twins, they probably know what I'm talking about. And they're both with the spiritual shits. But it was amazing, bro. What I would recommend for this is peace and fucking quiet. I would recommend if you could get a partner. I would definitely recommend getting a partner. Because if you are both mentally free and open to aiding in whatever way that you can aid, like it's, say, if it's your, if it's you and your girlfriend or you and your best friend, one of you guys can play the drums or, or, or if you're Irish, play the bagpipes or, or I don't know if that's Irish or Scottish, but if you are, you know, Indian playing Indian instruments while the other one does the ritual, but if you have that connection, then you will be both doing what needs to be done and vice versa. Like a lot of people, they need a priest or a priestess to do their rituals. If you guys want to both do that, then you can mentally project doing it. You can visualize the one person reading it and you reciting after them. And you will both be doing it at the same time, which is awesome. Um, there wasn't anything really dangerous. Uh, there was things... One thing that I did, I had to sprinkle sage everywhere. I was instructed to, and I'm glad that I did because there was things coming out of my altar. There was a hand, that, it was a gray hand that kept fucking popping out at me, which was, you know, it didn't really distract me. I feel like if I was brand new to it, then it, it, it definitely probably would have scared me. Um, but it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. I had to do that same ritual. I had to do an actual ritual here using the night energies of Egypt because it's going to be 8 o'clock there if it's 12 o'clock here. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. And again, if you, like in my case, the reason that I felt like I was being called to do these things is because I, a lot of the times, was instructed to do day rituals at night and vice versa. I never questioned it. Sometimes, I, I, I can't say never, but sometimes I would just be like, mm, that's a night ritual. I'm not going to do that shit at 3 o'clock in the morning. Why would I do that? Not knowing that they wanted me to align my energies with the timeline of Africa. And then, during the night, do a day ritual based on the timeline of Africa. And it's because it's the supercharger shit. Like I said before, it's the supercharger shit. If it's the full moon over there, it's going to be the full moon over here. But you can catch that energy during the day. You can carry that energy with you all day. And then use it again. And then do the same ritual. It's basically like having a fucking super, super new moon. Or a super, super full moon. It's, it's basically like... What it is, is if you work at McDonald's... And you work the night shift, usually. And the McDonald's fucking five miles from your house is like, yeah, your manager said that you will work for us because we're short a person, so we need you to come in. 
um, you won't hit overtime because it's two different pay systems, but it's the same company. And they're and you're like, oh, straight. And then you go there, and then you go to your own job after that six. So you end up working fourteen hours. You know, you work six hours for them to your actual shift, and you work eight hours at your own job. I mean, I didn't really have to give you that analogy, but anyways, man. Um, again. I'm gonna give you these tips again. Use your, use your, your, your spirit guides and your ancestors. You know, send them, convert your, convert your physical money to spirit money, man. Buy what you need to buy so you can do these specific rituals that will empower your actual mental projection rituals. Land, you could buy land and do a ritual there if, if that's what you want to do. You can own spirit land in a way in a sense um meditate on that and speak to your ancestors on that you could buy different kind of ritual tools you could buy different pieces of all um altar tools you can buy different types of arm and it's i mean it sounds like it's a rpg or it's some fucking grand theft auto for shit but it's really not man it's really it's really something that needs to be considered and needs to be practiced and, talk, and talked about more. I mean, a lot of people don't want to go that far. They're on like, I can just develop it in my soul. Yeah, I mean, it's better to develop it in your soul instead of you having to pay for it, just like everything else in this world. But at the same time, I definitely recommend it. So let me know what you think. Happy Equinox. It's Libra season. That's it, man. I'm the. Oh wait, <laughs> this is not we the bank. But um, be good to be good to the world. The world will be good to you, man. It's Aaron, motherfucking Moses. Peace.